Welcome back. That's Love Island's Paige and Finn. And Paige has just released her debut single. You, of course, will remember them. They won the show earlier this year after finding their type on paper. The winners of Love Island are... and Finn joined us now. What a moment. That was crazy, wasn't it? Still getting nervous watching it back. <laughs> I bet you do. Joe, I was just thinking earlier on because I know you've been together in lockdown and then I thought it's actually all they've ever known. They've been isolated. They haven't had their friends or family near them in a house. It's kind of just what it's been for you from the beginning. Yeah, we've been pretty much locked up this whole year. We have, yeah. And the first time we had sort of swimming pools and bikinis and swim shorts and that. And sunshine. And sunshine. And then the second time it was a little bit different, weren't it? Yeah, you don't get much sunshine in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> but it's certainly a way to get to know, know each other on all sort of levels when you're living together like that without anyone else around you, I guess. It yeah. was, yeah. And especially being with your family, wasn't it? It was nice, nice for me to live with them for almost three months. You don't really get that at the start of a relationship. Yeah, yeah, and it and it worked. It's worked out obviously. Now you two, I could talk about Love Island all day. I'm not going to because there's lots of other things to talk about, Paige. Your new music. And I remember when you sang in the villa when you were all lined up and you got the mic and you did your little song. And I remember sitting at home going, do you know what? That girl can really sing. She's going to make something of this. And here we are talking about it. Do you know, I was so nervous um, for the talent show. Obviously, it was the first time I was singing in front of you yeah. and I had the rest of the villa. And I knew it was going to be broadcasted on television. So I was just so... I think you showed me up, though, in the talent oh, show. Oh, come off here. <laughs> the whole time we were in that villa, we were trying to get Paige to sing. Like, obviously, yeah. we all knew she could sing. We were trying, we were trying, we were trying. And thank God the producers come up with the, <laughs> with the talent show because we all got, got to see it. Yeah. But to be fair, Paige, music has always kind of been your passion. I mean, you'll always sort of be the Love Islander that won the show and we love you for it. But, but music is actually where your heart lies. Yeah, so from a really a young age, it's always been music. I've never really been good at much else. Um, so to have this platform and the single with the house and garage orchestra, it's just so exciting. It's like a dream come true, really. Very exciting. I love that song anyway, but to have it with an orchestra is really, really special. Yeah, so I've actually, I've never met any of the orchestra. There's 36 musicians and I've never met them. One which day, is a shame. One day yeah. you will. Finn, I'm guessing you are number one fan. Oh, don't. Honestly, when it <laughs> when it got released, weren't it, on Friday, we yes. were just... I think you were more excited than I <laughs> Well, we had the drive up to Scotland, didn't we, yeah. last Friday, and we must have played it. I even worked it out, it was like 174 <laughs> times we could play the song. It was a three and, three and a half hour drive, we could play it that many times, but no, I'm, I'm over the moon for you. Yeah. I think I was quite nervous for it, whereas you just had all the excitement. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know all the words, that's for sure. <laughs> but of course, you've been sort of trying to work on your own original music as well, so I'm guessing that's going to lend itself to an album at some, at some point, Paige. Yeah, so lockdown gave us a lot of time to reflect on what had just happened. Um, and I found that I was writing a lot in lockdown. I keep getting asked, though, are you writing songs about me? Yeah, I, I was walking into the room while she was doing it and I'm getting hushed out, like, go, 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 because it's quite a... Yeah, I think there's just been so much that's happened in the last six months. I find that there's been a lot to write about. Yeah, yeah, of course, there's a lot to draw from, isn't there? has been a lot of emotion. Um, you, of course, though, Love Island, and we associate you with that, but you were on Britain's Got Talent in, what was it, 2014, I think? Yes, yeah, or was it 2012? Um, but yeah, I was 14 at the time and we got to the semi-finals. <laughs> that just feels like a lifetime ago. I think I had to go back to school and grow up in a personal and a musical like aspect. So it does not even feel like it was the same person. My goodness me, but it just shows you the music was there and you wanted to kind of develop it. Do you find it difficult potentially, Paige, to sort of jump from the reality show and the, the 
it, I mean, it's so huge, Love Island. It takes over our summers and now our winters. Um, do, is it difficult to make that jump into being a, a sort of a serious performer in your own right, away from all of that? I think so. It's always like the case with reality stars. I'm branching into anything that isn't reality TV. It's, I don't know why, it's just about... See, see, I keep saying that to Paige, like, it was your profession and what you've done before. So yeah. to come back into that is like, it should just be normal. Like, if I were to go back into recruitment, no one would... Football. ...batter an island. Yeah. But, you know, it's with the singing, it's like, I don't know why, but, yeah, it's, it should just be normal. Yeah, well, there's a lot of attention. What are, what are your plans then, Finn? Recruitment, football, what else is on the horizon? I, I'm hoping football. So if you don't mind, just maybe mention it to Frank. <laughs> if, if, he needs, if he needs a centre-back, just, <laughs> just come and give me a shout. But, um, but no, I'll certainly look to, look to get back into that. Um, but obviously, I'll sort of ride this wave out and then, then when, when I feel is the time right, is I'll go back. Yeah, but. of course. Well, you know, I can make a few inroads for you. Let me see what I can yeah. do. <laughs> <laughs> now, we don't like talking about exes, but I'm just going to very briefly bring up Lewis Capaldi, simply because you're now in the same business. Have you been in touch at all, Paige? No, so after Love Island, we exchanged texts. Um, I congratulated on the, him on the Brits, and likewise on Love Island. But no, after then, it's more not. Yeah. Yeah, it's all, it's all about Paige and Finn. Thank you so much, the two of you. And best of luck. The new single is out now, Moving Too Fast. Great to talk to you both. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye-bye. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.